Hey guys, we're here to have a little talk for my mental health series. I literally have not been physically able to do a video in a while. And that's because I got dental surgery. That has nothing to do with mental. But I had dental surgery. And between that medicine and other medicine, I've been, it's been knocking me out. Anyway, for this, for my mental health series, we're going to be talking about my mental health. And what is currently going on with it. You might have seen my last video, The Steph Sit Down, and know a little about it, but I, myself, had to face that I was going through problems, I was more paranoid, I was more anxious, and getting panic attacks, and... Like, it wasn't something you could explain. Like, people always ask, well, why did you have a panic attack? You just do, sometimes. And that was happening more. Everything, every feeling was just so much more intense. And it had been happening for a while now, and I've been putting it off and putting it off. And I said, that's it. I need to be an adult about this and get ahead of myself and go talk to my doctor and I did and he was very helpful um, he kept me on all my regular psych meds which are Seroquel, XR, Cymbalta and Lithium now I he put me on Neuron which is something you have to build up. And I am in the middle of that. I am a week into it. And the first two days, I don't know if it was because of the dental surgery or because I'm new to it, but I was knocked out. I like, I couldn't do anything. I slept all day. And I don't know if it's a combination of medicines, but I've just been feeling physically unstable, I guess you'd say. Um, whenever I take the medicines, when they kick in, I end up, I can't walk, I'm imbalanced, I look like a baby turtle walking, and I get, I, I have a fever right now, and it sucks. But I've had a fever the past, like, I don't know how many days. I don't know if it's an infection of some sort that has to do with the surgery or what, but it sucks, and uh, it I've just been physically unable to do more things, so I think it has to build up in my system, and like I said, I'm on week one of the build up. It's a two week build up, and uh. I take three doses right now, currently, and then I think tomorrow I start with four doses a day. We'll see how that goes. And that is the story of what's currently going on in my mental health. And I'm just trying. I like, like I said, I saw the issues. I needed to be responsible about it. I couldn't just do like before and pretend like it's not even there and have all these bad things happen. Like, I'm trying to prevent recurrences of the past. And I encourage you, if you see signs, to just, just do it. Just ask someone for help. It does not hurt to ask for help because if you don't, you might go down a dangerous road. You might hurt yourself or someone else. I don't know your story. Also remember, I am not a medical professional in any way, shape, or form. 
do not take like don't think my word is gold you know you search for yourself and I just recommend that and uh, if you need help look for more youtubers that talk about their mental health uh, I just saw a video Loie Lane did and she talked about health and her eating disorders and all that kind of stuff uh, Katie Morton's still good to watch she's an actual therapist so she knows what the hell she's talking about uh, so yeah to end this just be your own advocate if you can do that and just be smart about things it like we're living in the age of Google and there's things that can help us so don't think it's weak I hope you are all doing well and I will see you next time